Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to World Cyber Games Korea semi-final. This is the semi-final between Jadong and Luxury, and this is going to be very, very exciting game. Um, basically, let me put it this way. Okay, so who's the best Zerg versus Zerg in the entire world? Jadong, without a doubt. Okay, who is the second best Zerg versus Zerg in the entire world? Probably Luxury. Um, personally, I'd say over Sky, but eh, going by the general consensus, uh, I'm going to go with Luxury, uh, I guess, for the moment. Um, he is very, very good statistically. Um, he's just got very, very good tactics, Zerg versus Zerg. So basically, I mean, if anyone besides over Sky is able to take on Jadong in Zerg versus Zerg, it would be Luxury. Now, they had their chance, they had a battle uh, in, I believe, the MSL quarterfinals last season. Um, I think that's what it was. And uh, everyone said, okay, wow. So if anyone has a chance of taking down Jadong, it's Luxury. He, well, eh, there's a couple people that thought I had a chance. But, uh, I mean, he was, uh, by the way, it looks like um, uh, Jadong is going to be in red in the uh, top left-hand corner, by the way. Uh, Luxury is going to be in teal in top right-hand corner. And uh, both players setting their overlords the correct direction already. So, so this is going to come down completely to tactics here. Because they're both, there's no one's going to have a luck advantage or a position advantage or anything like that uh, at this point. Um, in any case, yeah, both these players did square off, and uh, it was a really big deal because it was the two Zerg, basically number one and number two Zerg versus Zerg. Versus Zerg. And uh, people thought that Luxury had a chance, but he got completely wiped out 2-0. Uh, uh, Jadong taking 2-0. Uh, against uh, Luxury there and, and just completely proving his dominance of Zerg versus Zerg. Um, I mentioned Oversky because he's actually the only one, he's the only Zerg to beat Jadong like in the last um, like six months or something ridiculous like that. I mean, he's Jadong has, I think, gone, uh, you know, like 14 and 1 or something like that. Uh, so it's pretty ridiculous. Jadon going for, uh, looks like a 9 pool here, by the way. Um, getting, uh, an extractor down. Let's see if that's an over, over pool extractor or, no, he's gonna keep the extractor, so, uh, he's gonna go for gas immediately. Uh, that makes perfect sense. I don't know why I even kind of, well, yeah, I know why I wondered, but, uh, in any case, uh, he's getting that extractor down, trying to get some gas in there. I mean, you want to get your speed links going, you want to get, um, as much gas as possible, as quickly as possible. It looks like Luxury has also gone from the 9 pool with the extractor. Uh, it looks like, uh, let's see, 1, 2, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. Looks like he did the same thing. So both players about even here, or actually exactly even. I thought they were, that Luxury was a little bit ahead for some reason, but it looks like they're exactly even. Uh, so on the money, completely mirror builds. Now both players overlords are going to get to each other's bases here for just a moment. They're gonna, at least going to be able to see the creep in a moment and be able to send their lings the right direction. Um, this is, this is Troy, and so I wouldn't be surprised if one or the other player tries to maybe lock, uh, their opponent in by, uh, uh, you know, attacking down the assimilators or something like that. That might be a tricky thing that one could do. It also might end up being defense mechanism. Let's see what they do. Now, both players haven't quite seen the creep yet for the other player's base, so they're sending their zerglings more toward the middle, I think. But, oh my gosh, they may even meet, meet in the middle. Complete mirror. Oh, let's look at the... Oh, go to the middle. Go to the middle. Both players' Zerglings missing each other. Oh, Jadong bringing back his Zerglings. I think he may have spotted those Zerglings. And he's in a nice position. Almost picks off one of one of Luxury's Lings. At this point in the game, a single Zergling matters. Single Zergling actually matters. I mean, you think... Oh, it's 35 hit points. It's um, 25 minerals. It's not that big a deal. But at this point, it does matter. Now both players are going to be fully aware of what each other is doing. Both players just doing power lengths off of one hatchery, uh, getting their lairs as well. It's just going to come to completely down to micro and tactics. Now here's going to be... Luxury looks like he's... I mean, he can't he can't breach that gap. He can't breach that gap. But J Jadong critically has, has given up his natural. He's completely given it up because there's no way that he can breach that gap either. And so Luxury is going to be able to take out these... These assimilators. Now, Jadong, he's a smart player. What I think he's probably doing right now is he's completely stopped making Zerglings altogether. And look, he's even attacking the assimilators as well. So he's going to take out those assimilators too. Um, so he's probably completely stopped making Zerglings to make sure that Luxury... Uh, I mean, I, I mean, he's just, it's just wasted minerals at this point. Um, it's just going to come down to air. Now, the, the advantage is for Luxury is that now he's going to be able to... Um, take an expansion, and, and Jadong is not. 
But Jadong got his lair down, I'm sorry, his spire down a little bit sooner. Oh, it looks like Jadong at the last second, oh, someone at the last second tried to squeeze some links through that gap, but uh, uh, Jadong finally finishes it off. But yeah, so Jadong has his spire up a little bit earlier. It's not early enough that it's really going to matter, though, is the thing. Um, it, it's just going to come down completely to micro at this point. Um, Luxury now can't get any Zerglings into... Um, into Jadong's base. Jadong can't get any Zerglings out. Neither of them are going to produce drop tech. So if this goes to a longer game, uh, it's going to be Luxury's game because he's going to be able to take that expansion. Um, and uh, that's all there. That's kind of all there is to it. Uh, but it, Jadong has proven himself to have that superior micro, though. Um, and so it's, you know, it, it may not matter. It may not matter that Luxury can. And there, Luxury's trying to take his expansion. Now, it's going to be risky because now he's going to have to defend two places at once. He's going to have to defend his main. He's also going to have to defend that expansion because if he loses that expansion, I mean, that's that many minerals that he's lost that he could have had. Um, Jadon going for Scourges. Jadon going for a complete flight of Scourges early on. He's going to try and just completely take out uh, Luxury's, air, uh, Luxury's um, air units as soon as they pop out here. Scourges are on route. He's, he's got it. Oh my gosh, he's got his Spire up earlier. I didn't think it was going to matter that he got up earlier. He may be able to take out... Oh my goodness, he may be able to take out, take out Luxury's... Uh, uh, as soon as they oh scourges pop scourges pop for um for luxury scourges is completely suiciding against each other luckily for luxury he didn't produce mutilus there goes one mutilus and now a uh, jadong beautiful move by him uh getting the scourge and he's gonna try and attack the other mutilus as it pops out um to try and, and then now he, then he can get this the last hidden so now uh luxury trying to pick off oh no jadong go in pick off that mutilus he's gonna try and pick off that scourge because he cannot lose and jadong knows he has a little bit of advantage here with that extra scourge and the, and the Mulisk with one hit left on it. Now Jadon coming in with a second Mulisk here, and it, it just Luxury desperately needs to take out that Scourge. Then he'll have a slight advantage, um, but it looks like he did take manage to take out um, that Mulisk of, of Luxuries. And Jadon just coming in from all sides. Wow. Completely, completely epic uh, micro by Jadon coming in with just Mulisk after Mulisk. He used those initial Scourges to completely throw off uh, Luxury's build to get the hit points down on, on one of his... Um, Mutalisks, I, I didn't see if he killed off another Mutalisk or anything like that, but oh, uh, Luxury getting off a nice hit there. If he can get off another hit like that on on, uh, on uh, Jadong's units, he may be able to come back here, but things are looking very dire for, for Luxury at this point. Um, he's Jadong just has too many Mutalisks uh, grouped up now that he's able to pick off Scourges very easily. It looks like Jadong is going to take game one. He's going to lose a Mutalisk here in a moment if, uh, if Luxury targets it properly, which he's not. But... Um, Basically, I mean, Jadong went in with those Scourges. He hit the Mutalisk with the Scourge, which lowered its life down almost to nothing, and, and, and Jadong was then able to pick off. So it becomes extremely cost-effective if you can hit with one Scourge and then finish off with Mutalisk Fire. Um, oftentimes, you'll see players use two Scourges to take out a Mutalisk just because it's quick and it gets rid of that Mutalisk very easily. Uh, but if you can split them up like that and get all of the enemy Mutalisks down to uh, very low hit points, then finish them off with Mutalisks. Uh, it's just completely devastating, and we just saw a classic example of that, and that is why uh, you you clone is what it's called. You clone or you split up your scourges to try and attack different mulets. So Jadong, despite having a little bit of a disadvantage, getting pinned into his base early, complete air micro superiority takes game one.